Hi guys, welcome to Off the Tenth. My name is Chris, and today we're taking a look at the third beer that I got from Blackburn Brew House. I can't even speak English today, but whatever. Today we are taking a look at the Old Scow Lager. I am assuming that this beer is basically just their staple lager, probably their base beer that they're going to be using for their lagers and, and right one offs or whatever. I'm, I'm assuming so. I don't know. I shouldn't really make assumptions. I don't really know. I never talked to them. Um, this, uh, this lager and the light lager is in my fridge upstairs. I might do that review later. I haven't decided, but I'm assuming that the light lager is using this beer as their base. Fair assumption, I guess. Anyway, so this one is like I said, it's a lager. It's coming in at 5% alcohol by volume. It's in a 473 milliliter can, and it's 10 IBUs. Uh, the ingredients on this one are water, malted barley, hops, and yeast. Um, the recommended glassware is the brew house glass, which I happen to have right here. I don't know if this is the one they're referring to or not, but whatever. I'm going to use it anyway. So, uh, yeah. So far, we are two for two on Blackburn's stuff. So let's see how this one fares. Let's pour that in there. There we go. All right. Lager, lager, lager. Okay. Got an itchy nose. So let's see how she poured off. It's cold. I pulled it, poured it out of the fridge. I poured it. I poured it out of the fridge. I pulled it out of the fridge nice and cold because... I like my lagers cold. Don't like a warm lager. Who does? It's like you're crazy if you do. I don't care if it makes you taste more stuff. If it's warm, if it's a lager or a pilsner, I'm drinking it ice cold because I like it like that. Anyway, pour it off. It's filtered. It's There's condensation obviously on the glass, but it's pretty crystal clear throughout. Uh, typical lager color, a little, little bit yellow. Uh, head on this one. Pour it off with a fluffy white uh, but I, I poured off it just poured off with about a finger and a half of head now it's just dissipating down to about a finger and it's sticking around which is quite nice good effervescence going through the glass can't really see that but whatever let's take a smell all right this has and i don't know a lot of you guys will know what i'm talking about this one has that typical craft beer lager smell not like not like the macro lagers like canadian and budweiser and stuff like that where they have that that kind of like that tinny kind of earthy maybe even a corn or or like a, a rice adjunct kind of a smell to it this one has the natural yeah it has that natural smell to it it's got a little bit of a tinny smell on it but it doesn't have that adjunct heavy um I want to say after taste kind of smell. Do you know what I'm talking about? Because if you have like a Canadian or a Budweiser stuff or a blue even as a Pilsner, then you, you know, know what I'm talking about with that smell. But it smells good. It smells fresh. Whatever. Here we go. Let's drink it. Man, I'm just butchering this review. Nice. Very nice. And I just spat at the camera. This review, this review, fuck, what the wrong, what is wrong with me? I can't even talk anymore. It's like I haven't done so many beer reviews before. I just can't remember what I'm doing anymore. Um, this one tastes fantastic. This is a very crisp and clean, yeah, very crisp and clean lager. You got that lager taste, like a breadiness, a little biscuitiness to it. It has a little bit of, um, and I get this a lot with lagers, and I just mentioned it too. There's a little bit of a tinny kind of a, a, a taste to it, but it is a typical lager taste. It's fantastic. And I know somebody who would actually probably really enjoy this would be my buddy Jeff, who uh, a couple summers ago we got together and we were doing some some beer reviews, which they didn't really come out on camera because we were pretty much smashed. But he was complaining to me about how, why well, can't breweries and craft breweries make a good lager that are comparable to the macros and stuff like that and what we got here from blackburn is 100 percent a very comparable for people this is a very good entry-level craft lager for people just getting into the craft beer scene that's what i wanted to say from the beginning and you know what these guys at blackburn just hit the nail on the head with this one this one is very very easy to drink 
five percent alcohol this is this has way better of a taste than with those macro beers out there you know the only thing is though craft beer can be a little bit expensive especially when you're buying single cans and stuff like that but these guys aren't too bad check them out on their website blackburn brew house i think it's dot com i'm not 100 percent. go look it up google it find out because they do do deliveries and stuff like that in niagara falls and in the niagara region i'm pretty sure so and their prices aren't so bad when it comes to tall boys like this one in the uh, you know the one pint can get them out there and, and and you know get a chance to try a craft breweries loggers lager and i'm going to try the light lager later maybe today maybe another time but anyway guys in my own opinion this is the longest review i've ever done for a lager from blackburn brew house their old scow lager is definitely worth checking out this one is a fantastic entry-level lager in the craft scene for people who are afraid of having ipas and porters and stouts and stuff like that from a brewery this is fantastic get out there and try it these guys are located in niagara falls in the south end go check them out anyway i'm done so easy to drink i'm gonna pound this down in a second anyway i'm out of here guys if you like what you saw subscribe down below leave a comment if you want hit that notification bell and i will talk to you guys later Bye bye